Hello. Uh, we are back. Uh, sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, we had a presenter not showing up, so uh, we were not able to broadcast for the past uh, 30 minutes, but we are back and uh, we are back on track with uh, Silvan here. Uh, I was adding him. Uh, welcome, Silvan. Thank you. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, thank you. Thank you and welcome all for being here with me, with us uh, for that uh, presentation. Um, Thank you. Uh, so, Sylvain is an engineer working at Auslandia, a French company offering services in GIS, open source, uh, like QGIS, PostGIS, Web 3D, and he's been working in geographical systems development since 1998. So, Sylvain, the, the, the stage is yours. Thank you. Thank you, June. Thank you. Um, uh, first of all, I'm, uh, uh, I'm sorry for my English, which, which is not perfect, far from that, but I will try my best for 20 minutes. Uh, uh, a few more words to begin. Don't, I'm Sylvain, I'm 46 years old. Uh, I've been working in the GIS software for 20 years now. I've seen many, many technologies and many problematics I had to solve with many tools over the years. But in a way, I, I'm considering myself sometimes like a, always a beginner because I know I've, I've, I've always got more to learn and discover. So as June said, uh, I'm currently working at Auslandia. Uh, we work with open source uh, GIS software, QGIS, POGIS, 3D data, artificial intelligence, and more, and uh, and so. Voila, as we said in French. Okay, enough about me. Uh, let's talk about uh, Terry story. The story of uh, the territory. Maybe we could uh, interpret it like this. Like this. Uh, Terry story is a, a website, a public website. You can go after the speech if you want to check out on terristory.fr. It's located in France and uh, it deals with French data for now. It's an online tool for tracking and direct the energetic and ecological transition of territories. The website is public. Anyone can go and check the data, but it is more appropriate for people who are in charge with that kind of data means uh, the decision makers, the territory planners, maybe the politicians, some kind of people. The platform is uh, built with open source technologies, of course, but the application itself is not yet open source. Soon there will be a release, so anyone can deploy its own version with uh, its, own, uh, its own data. We talk about energy not only energy but in, in the main part the, the the earth is changing the climate is changing the natural resources are important for us and for the future we have built societies around energy we need energy maybe one of the most important things we have to care about energy data is geographic where is it how does it evolve what can we do with those data? We can observe, we can study, we can localize, we can manage, we can plan for the future. Before talking about the functionality and technique, let's talk about people around this project. Aura Energy Environnement is a French association, association acting on account of the Auvergne Rhône Alpes region to promote sustainable energy. Aura EE, as we said in, in, in French, started the, the territory project a, a couple of years ago in order to put their data on the web. They are based in France, near Lyon. Many people work there and are our customer. Oslandia, me, my colleagues, uh, we built the whole project for the technical parts. But we have also supported in a modern way, the development of the, the platform with modern methods, and I will show you that uh, in a few in a few minutes. 
today the project is running almost without without us and we are very very proud of, of that about the project the project on is evolution at, at the beginning a few years ago the website was a simple demo a single page app with a few functionalities a map a legend a small widget it was a proof of concept question where will it work what can what data can we display and manage what are the perspectives for the future and in a small amount of time we built the first version within 15 days now years later uh, the proof of concept has become a fully functional web app still a single page app but with much more functionalities and much more people involved it's a complete platform for data observation we got dynamic maps dynamic charts simulation scenarios impact on local employment dashboard and much more at the beginning there was only one actor one region today there is a consortium has been mounted with many people many regions to 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 give you a more uh, to be more specific there there are uh, 18 regions in france which are a subdivision uh, of the country france is about uh, 1000 kilometers by 1000 uh, and the project has become a national project it, it, it becomes a, a reference platform for that kind of uh, data observation. We can make an analogy with open source because uh, the project is really similar or co co coherent with a, a, an, open, an open source project. Why is that? Because a simple project to a full platform, a single developer to multiples from various origins, a single founder to multiples organized, a single actor for the roadmap definition to mutualize one. And of course, there is a lot more to do, but we like the way the project has been evolving in the time, and we will continue that way. So what can I do? What can we do with Terry's story? First of all, we can access a map. I will show you uh, some screen uh, later. We can access a map of the region we choose. We can localize administrative limits. Once it's done, you can choose to run simple analysis on different themes around energy, but also mobility or recycling, for example. The analysis consists on a map representation with charts. The charts are pies, bars, bars. You can apply many filters to allow to go far in the portion of the data and get precise and to get precise and useful information for your work. Sometimes data are confidential, so the platform can easily deal with that and blur the data if needed. You may build dashboard for reports. You may build predictive data chart, very useful and powerful with your mission if your mission is to observe a particular kind of data for a couple of years. This has been a long and complex part of the platform, the, the, predictive, and, uh, the predictive parts. A quick overview of the architecture. As you can see, there are two main ways. The first one, is uh, the uh, OpenStreetMap background processing. We take some data from a, a database, uh, OpenStreetMap, import what we need, and we have the vector tile server, which is post tile, to process the vector tiles. And below, we have the main data processing. Many sources of data are imported in the Postgres database. The import processes are custom, made in Python, and also we use a classic importer like a SHP to PSQL or simple copy from Postgres. Many, many data are CSV files, uh, Excel files. Fr from the main database, uh, data are processed to become also vector tiles and JSON or JSON for uh, the front application. This is not a very complex architecture. It's quite classic. 
but we stick to, to the keep it simple and it works well. Let's talk about technique, technology, the front size. As I said earlier, uh, it's a single web app. We wanted the, the application to stay light, very light, clear, and very intuitive. So people coming to visit the website are sometimes, uh, sometimes unaware of the, that kind of specific website. So uh, the front has been built with uh, React JS. We used to, to, to use uh, Angular at the time, but that day we decided uh, how we choose React. Sometimes when you choose a technology, it's just a matter of fashion. As soon as the tech is open source and persistent, why not to try it? React is the main framework from, for the front. And to display the map, we use uh, open layers. Uh, I've been using that uh, library for a long time. And uh, what I've got to choose between others, uh, leaflet, for example, I still stick uh, to open layers because uh, I like it a lot. Uh, the charts are built with the chart.js, uh, a simple chart uh, library, but very efficient. Again, there are many, many frameworks for that, and all is a matter of uh, preferences. And of course, behind all this, there is a lot of homemade uh, code to, uh, to re rely on. Here is a view of the application, a map full page, the widget on the left side and on the right side, the charts on the bottom, very classic, very efficient. Uh, we have time uh, at the end. Uh, I, I can show you uh, live uh, on the, um, the application. What you see there is uh, an indicator about energy consumption. The big circle is uh, uh, Lyon here. Uh, Lyon is the third or second crowded town in France, so you can easily understand why the circle is bigger. A lot of people, a lot of energy consumption. The pies at the bottom are showing by category the repartition, the division of that consumption. We see that home and transport are uh, the main sources of consumption. You see in yellow, brown there. So you got a lot of analysis. You can choose to display data and get very practical information. The backside, it has been built with Python, which is a language we, we cherish at I hope, yes, I think I was off for a little bit of time. I'm sorry. So I was saying Python with, is uh, the, the language for the backside. Uh, Sonic async PG is used to build the main API. A simple framework, but again, very efficient. Besides, we got uh, uh, utility libraries like Alambic, Pandas, Pytest, and of course, again, a lot of custom code to serve the data uh, to the front. Um, for the data, the data is stored in Postgres with Postgres to manage uh, the special data. And there are two ways to populate the data in the platform. First, an administrator can do it and load the most important parts. And we've got uh, local administrators can also, if they've got uh, enough rights on the platform, uh, they can load a small amount of data specific to their uh, administrative zone. Data is uh, one of the most important things of course, in the platform, and a special care has been done for that. We got a lot of check control to ensure the data is correct, and there are many, many people checking that before the data goes on the production website. We've got three servers, development, test, and production. Front and back are all, in a way, disconnected. There is back, it's just on REST API, serving the data, and the front, uh, get the data by calling the API uh, routes and receiving JSON or GeoJSON for the most part. Of course, we have some specialized routes for serving PDF files or images. 
but front and back could be interchangeable if one day a technology becomes obsolete. The application has been built in a very generic way, and today we, uh, we deal with energy, but tomorrow when the code is released, uh, anyone can take it and manage any kind of data. It's very, very generic in its, uh, in its uh, conception. Uh, the background layer, we deal with maps, so we need background layers. Of course, uh, OpenStreetMap data uh, with custom look, very light, with a few colors, labels, and in order to leave the efficient data, the main part of the, is of the map. We use vector tiles for the layer, very light and fast, easy to use with post tile, but we should use a PG tile serve very soon in replacement. No raster, no WMS, no WFS for the, applic for the application because no need to. Maybe in the future, uh, if we want to connect uh, external uh, services. So that's it for the, the technical part. Uh, now for the project management, because it's quite interesting, uh, we, we manage all with GitLab. At Transia, this is our main tool. We use it uh, for for our internal management and of course for our projects. For the code versioning, we use tickets to communicate, we, to communicate with the customers. We have made a lot of teaching with our customer about that. Uh, it was communicating a lot by email at the beginning. We, uh, it was resulting in a very, very confused management. We spent many, many hours to teach the modern ways to follow a project. And today, few, few years later, he used the customer use GitLab as much as we, we are developer to do. And sometimes in a better uh, way than us. We are very, very proud of uh, that evolution. It makes the project development even more, more enthusiastic. So our tickets are now the exclusive way to share information. Of course, we talk on the phone to see each other if needed. We use the, 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 the board view. Uh, in France, we say Kanban uh, a lot. And of course, the continuous integration used at uh, its full potential. We can focus on the code, on the functionalities, and leave the admin sys be automatic. This is very, very useful for me because I'm very allergic to a system operation like deployment and so so. I like to code the functionality, but the deployment, if it's automatic, it's okay to me. We've got three servers, and uh, we save a lot, a lot of time uh, by using uh, those tools. <coughs> now on tomorrow, the, the big. The next, big step, the next big step is uh, to release the source code. That won't be an easy task. Why that? Because as the project become bigger and many people are involved and make decisions and give money, they want their functionality as soon as possible. There is a new release uh, about each month and each month, and uh, sometimes we have to hurry in order to stick to the schedule decided by the consortium. And if you are a web dev, you know that hurry may be not good for the quality of the code. So the consequences are we must sometimes do the code refactoring in order to keep a level of quality. So for the open source release, a big review of the code will be made, and we need some time for that. The people in the consortium don't always see or uh, understand the difficulties we can have building the application. Again, we communicate a lot with them to explain why building a new functionality may take a week to code. Uh, what to think about this project? I think it's very unique because we, we deal with a lot of projects at Oslandia, a lot of different customers, a lot of different people. Each one is different. Sometimes it goes well. Sometimes, sometimes it goes a bit wrong. Sometimes it's great. And with Terry's story, it has been great from the beginning till now. That's why I'm talking of that project today in front of you. Of course, we went through problems and very painful days while developing the platform, but I would, I would say it's price to pay for a good result. We are very proud when a project goes that way and becomes a really successful one. We can't wait 
to have the code released open source so we can use it for other data database projects. I could say much more about the project, but I think the time is counted and I will be there for any question. So I thank you uh, for uh, being here with us. Quickly, uh, when you ask some question, if you have some question, I can show you uh, the, the, the application uh, live and thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Sylvain. Merci beaucoup. Uh, so there are a couple of questions there um, in, in, in Venulus. So we can start with them. Maybe uh, the audience may have other questions, but thank you very much for the update and the background. Um, so the question is, um, I know this project has been started before it was first released, but do you think PG feature serve could have been used to replace part of the backend with SQL functions? So. Yes, yes. Uh, I was saying uh, a few minutes ago that uh, when we chose the, um, the technology behind the, the, the project, uh, it was a matter of preferences or knowledge. So at that time, if uh, PG Server Save uh, has been ready, maybe you, we could have chosen this one um, to, to, to start with. And now, we are not uh, close to 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 get a new uh, to get a replacement framework. So tomorrow, if uh, we don't want to work with Sanic uh, anymore, why not use uh, PG Feature Self to do this? I was talking about Postile. Uh, Postile will be uh, replaced by another modern uh, framework to to serve the tiles. So yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, there are other questions maybe regarding the functionality, uh, the uses uh, of, of, the, of the interface. So um, some of them might be there, some of them maybe you were planning to implement, I don't know, but uh, just, uh, how can the reports be shared? So can we export it through PDF or can we embed, as, uh, embed the map uh, in another website, etc.? Is it possible to link other data sources, other online data sources, use other online data sources uh, within the system, and also the multi-language support? So are there something that planned? So for the first question, uh, yes, we can, uh, we can, uh, the report can be shared. We can export as PDF, as uh, images, no problem. All is uh, built in the, in the platform. Uh, you can also uh, prepare a map like the one you, you see on the screen and share the, the, the URL and, uh, and uh, the people receiving uh, the, the link will have the, that map and can include it uh, in uh, another website. So uh, uh, sharing data is the most important thing in that platform. Uh, we cannot yet link online data sources but we will in the future. And uh, for the multi-languages, uh, not yet, because uh, it's, a, it's a French project. But uh, when the code will be released open source, I, I guess we will implement uh, that possibility. So anyone can uh, connect and use the platform for any kind of data in any kind of uh, in any languages. So yes. We will uh, we will do that uh, in the future, I, I guess. Okay, thank you. Um, looks 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 very interesting and and, and useful. So um, thanks a lot for the work and thanks a lot for the effort and thanks a lot for sharing um, your studies and your work here. So um, uh, as uh, quoting Olivia, it's very inspiring. Yes. So. Uh, if you have any additional comments, you can go ahead because we have some time. Uh, so you can, if you have additional comments, um, you, you can go. So. Okay. Uh, I don't have particularly, but I, I can okay. uh, uh, navigate in the website and you can watch, just watch me. Uh, okay. Uh, so we have two or three minutes for that. Please go ahead. Okay. 
Uh, as you can see, we are in the in the uh, southeast of France. Lyon is there. You, I don't know if you know Marseille over here, the Mediterranean Sea here. And uh, the first region was uh, that one. And you can see a subdivision uh, of, uh, of the region. You have to choose uh, uh, an administrative uh, zone. So you can take a, a region with department, region with a, 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 a commune. I, I don't know in English how we say commune. Never mind, towns. So you choose a, 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 a division, and then you go in the analysis menu and choose an, uh, uh, an analysis to uh, to launch. Most of the of the analysis are uh, are uh, <clears throat> sorry. My connection is not so good when I, I do some uh, uh, screen sharing. So sometimes I've got some problems. OK. Most of the analysis will show you uh, some circles, you, you know, proportional circles like this because it's the most efficient way to uh, to show uh, to show quickly some data so uh, for 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 the most part you will uh, see uh, a map like this with a pie like uh, like that on the on the bottom but we've got uh, on other analysis some some uh, donuts or some bars or some um, uh, some uh, histograms um, we talk about energy, uh, but <clears throat> there is also, also data about mobility, uh, pollution, um, climate, and very, very uh, a, a lot of uh, of themes uh, of uh, to to present to user data. I say again, uh, the platform is very generic. So when it be it will be a release open source, uh, you can take it and inject your own data of any kind, and it will work. So uh, go to check uh, terristory.fr if you want after the speech, and you, you can manipulate and see uh, uh, what it does. Of course, there is a, a connected uh, mode, but uh, it's, it's uh, reserved for the administrators. I think it's um, maybe time so i thank you again thank you june uh, thank you thank you you're welcome uh thanks a lot for that presentation and if you have any further questions or if you want to follow up with Stefan, you just feel free to find him in the venue list platform and, and and send a message uh so i think he can he will be able to answer any further questions coming from me even after the session so thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for that great presentation, Sylvain. Thanks. Have, have a good afternoon. Oh, in France, we are afternoon. Yes, like bye this. Bye. Goodbye. See you. Have a nice rest of the rest of the conference.